Hi folks, Mike here in Cherokee, North Carolina at the Koala Boundary of the Eastern Band of the Cherokee people. I'm outside the Museum of the Cherokee Indian where Roadside America's app has directed us to see one of their stop-worthy sites. Yes folks, behind me is one of Peter Toth's Native American sculptures. Let's take a closer look. As you can see, this is an impressive sculpture. It's very tall. If you look closely in the eyes, you can see tears. Now this statue is here to honor specifically Sequoia. We know that Sequoia invented the Cherokee alphabet and was a great leader among their people. The base of the statue we see tributes to the different clans, the Wolf Clan, the Deer Clan, the Bird Clan, the Long Hair Clan. I'm not sure about that one. I know they're not talking about me. The Blue Clan, and finally, the Paint Clan. Now sitting here up close you get some idea of just how big this sculpture is. It is an impressive sight. Standing next to it makes me feel kind of small, which of course means I like it. Now Peter was born in Hungary, but immigrated to the United States and fell in love with what he saw here, especially the stories of the Native American people. So great was his love for the native people of America that he created a series of giant Indian head statues which are known as the Trail of the Whispering Giants. A trail because his goal was to have one of these in every state of the Union where Native American people had a history. So while Peter Toth statues are not entirely rare, there are not really in total a lot of them. Most of his life's work has been concentrated on these very large Indian head statues. I guess this dark winter sky, this somber look at Sequoia adds an air of melancholy with the tears slowly rolling down his face. Yes, these statues are impressive. And yes, they do speak to the plight of the Native American. However, I think the statues also have a meaning that you can find if you just scratch below the surface of this wood veneer a little bit. You see, again, Peter was a Hungarian who immigrated to the United States and fell so in love with it that he was compelled to create these statues. So what is this other meaning right below the surface? Well, what it tells me, folks, is you don't have to be born in America necessarily to be an American. So until the next time, this is Mike from Cherokee saying bye.